Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nchali Mukawa and this is Dollop. If you are a regular regular on the channel and you've seen my videos before, thank you for coming back by. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more medical content, school content, vlogs, medical school content. So, happy new year guys. This is my first video of the year. Oh, 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 oh. So today, I'm going to be telling you guys about my journey to medical school. Again, I feel like I've been getting um, a lot of, not a lot, but a couple of questions from people that are doing BSc or accepted to BSc in this new year and have ambitions of going into medicine or coming into the healthcare space. And I felt, you know what, let me share my journey in detail and, uh, and answer most of the questions that I was getting about the kind of BSc I was doing, the math that I got in matric, the math that I got at BSc. And how the journey has been, honestly, and how I was able to keep pushing and how I was able to keep going. So, firstly, the number one thing is in matric, I didn't know what I want to do. I honestly didn't know what I want to do, but I knew that I'm smart a bit. I knew that I was going to get a bachelor and I thought I was going to get a distinction because, I mean, I'm the smartest girl in my school, but unfortunately it's a government school. So being the smartest girl in your school, getting 70s is like a big deal. Unlike being the smartest girl in like maybe a private school in an ib getting all this into 90 percent you understand what i mean so i'm part of the top 10 in my school but it's not necessarily the best school ever it's a government school so at this particular time i'm like okay so what's the plan you're 17 years old 16 at the time and you're like people are asking you what you want to do for the rest of your life and i was like i want to be in the healthcare space i want to be a doctor i don't know if that's what i wanted or that's what was groomed for me to become hence i was smart and everybody was like you're gonna be a doctor you're gonna be a doctor and i finally accepted it okay um maybe i might be good at this doctoring thing let me try it literally application this is my first advice to anyone who's in grade 11 and grade 12 apply 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 send in those applications as early as possible even if you're in grade 11 and your marks are not good send in the applications keep updating the university with your term marks if maybe let's say when i do max are june and they're not good just apply so that you'll have a student number and your name is on the system and you if you improve your marks in the uh, september marks in your december marks next year when you're doing a um, matric you keep updating the university about your progress so always apply i think that's another thing that kills a lot of people they don't apply and then you come here january and there's no space for late applications unfortunately given the way the systems are currently in many universities there is no late applications for medical school or any other healthcare science course that i know of so definitely apply write your nbt test prepare for it many universities consider the nbt test where i wrote my nbt test i'm from pretoria i wrote my nbt test they go up I got average marks. <laughs> Honestly, I got average marks. We didn't tell you what you feel, but what you feel, oh go ahead, no, what you feel, oh go and mera. Eh, oh compare, I live at Kuba, South Africa. Eh, what? Are you really tell you feel it? Are you real colorful? Not really. Okay. So it was that, and then. The, se the third thing I feel like in matric, there should be a lot of career guidance. Expose yourself. Shadow someone. Maybe Oilung Hore is a doctor, is in the medical field. They do this a lot of private hospitals. You can literally go there and ask at private hospitals. I don't know about government hospitals because it's overcrowded and all of those things. But definitely do so to a private hospital. I know Akashia, the one more on the Pagi, does it. So you just go to the reception and you tell them, these are my matric results. I've applied to this university for medical school and I'd like to shadow a doctor. You're just going to be walking around with them. No commenting, no opinions or nothing. You're just going to be walking around with them as they do their consultations or what rounds or whatever they're going to be doing and you expose yourself to that particular environment and make sure you love it because medical school is emotionally draining physically draining mentally spiritually draining so if you're gonna do something that you don't love and you think you're gonna stick around for a really long time that's why a lot of people in medical school there's a high suicide rate alcoholism so many so many toxic things that are taking place for people to cope in this environment not because people don't love it but because it's a very challenging environment so if you know deep in your heart that's something you want to do then you will be able to push through all of these things and conquer but if you can't a lot of people are not coping a lot of people are quitting a lot of people are committing suicide and i want any of my subscribers to be one of those people so definitely make sure deep in your heart something that you want to do 
so that was my matric journey i didn't know what i wanted to do but i knew what i wanted to be in the healthcare space no problem application time ga, 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 ga. Mogele. Are, na, I apply apply medunt apply uj that was the two applications that i applied for i applied for medunta and i think i applied for i think i applied for bds at the time which was we a dental surgery and then i also applied for at uj i applied for optometry and radiography <laughs> i get like easy 5 january 2018 results come out uj is the first one to be like we reject you anything there's no space my heart i'm like i'm not going to do i wanted to be a city girl i wanted to be the girl no problem my dad is like when are you going to unisa because this thing of you sitting around and not doing anything is not going to work for us no problem when and i want to elaborate on my results for matric again i did not get any distinctions in matric so for me to be where i am today and living in my blessing it's really nothing but a blessing and i hope it motivates someone to say that if you really want to do something you can push through anything and achieve it i did not get nothing i didn't get one distinction in matric i my marks were good i got like 70s like level fives and sixes so i got a bachelor's pass obviously in admission to university so and then at the time there were still walk-ins it was a really long time ago there were still walk-ins at medunta so i came to the university i got the thing oh why they examination numbers Africans Africans Honestly, that's a discussion for another day I don't understand why we still do Africans in black school But Africans get to me grade 4 until me 3 But all I managed to get was a 48% I got a level 3 in Africans no problem this level three we are not going to get it so what you can do is change your application in the system to bsc and then if you get accepted to bsc then you do it for a year and you're going to be accepted to medicine and that is a lie don't believe it so no problem change my application to bsc and then went back home said home said home said home for i think a few days SMS at Aina. You've been accepted to BSC. Yes, when I get it. Ha! No problem. I get in. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm on campus. I'm looking for rares. I'm attending orientations. Everything is fun and nice. That was my journey. I'm excited. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this thing for one year. And the next year I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna be in medical school. I'm gonna be wearing scrubs. And I had a very huge imagination. First year, I get my max. <laughs> I pass. Obviously, I'm studying, I'm studying, I'm studying, I'm studying. We do 10 modules so in order to get into bsc they say you have to have a minimum of at least six distinctions in first year for you to switch modules <laughs> first year i'm cross nighting i'm sleeping at that i'm doing all of these things i'm making all of these sacrifices to make sure that i get into medical school i get all the required distinctions <laughs> i get all required distinctions in my first year and I still didn't get in. Oh my God, my spirit was so low. I didn't understand why I didn't get in. Why didn't I make it? What is happening? What's wrong with me? Why can't I just get into this medical school thing? I got all the distinctions that I said I must get. Why are you not taking me? And they're like, oh, we only take, I think it was five people in the class or something like that. And once you get into second year, you know, I couldn't switch. Once you do second year, you have to finish the degree. You can't leave it in the middle. I accepted. I cried. I cried. But I came back. I registered. And I finished my BSc. And... I graduated with cum laude and that's on her i graduated with cum laude and i made sure i made sure that i get the distinctions i get the points that are required and in this university if you have a degree there's a point system that they use to calculate how much your degree is worth and if you finish it on record time you get some extra points with all the modules that you have done and out of all the 20 modules that i did for my bsc i got 14 distinctions and i graduated with cum laude with a percentage i think it was I'm not sure about my percentage. I'll have to go and check it on my marks. But, and that's how I got in. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence, a lot of perseverance, and a lot of prayer. And if you know that this is the thing that God has put in for you, honestly, God knows. He won't, he won't blunder. Honestly, he knows the plans that he has for you and plans for you to prosper and not to fail. So I feel like I want to motivate you guys to be like, if you feel it in you that this is your deepest desire to do it, push, you can keep it going. You can do it like the rest of us are doing because 
I'm currently 30 years, it's hard to keep going, it's hard to be motivated, it's hard to do your work, it's hard to wake up every day and be thankful for the fact that you are residing in your answered prayers, the fact that you are living in your answered prayers. It's really hard to keep going. So it's really something you have to make sure that you want to do and keep pushing. And I hope that this is enough information for everyone. I'm currently a medical student doing M3 and so far so good. We are doing well, we got in, we're here and the journey keeps going. It's not like hotel medicine and the journey is over and now you're a doctor. No, you still have to study, still have to push. Just that it is better because now you are in what you have always wanted to be. I hope this motivates someone who wants to do medicine. And if you guys have any questions about switching from BSc to MBCHB, you want more details, please don't forget to leave the comments down below about the university that I've applied to. I've applied to, oh, I should actually do a story time. I applied to Word. I wrote the gem test in my second, in my final year of BSc. I applied to UP, I applied to UCT. So I applied to NMU and I got accepted when they started their program. I think it was 2021 or 2022, I'm not sure. I applied, I got accepted. And if you guys want to know about my application journeys with those other universities even though i didn't attend there but just my application journey with those other universities please let me know don't forget to like comment and subscribe see ya